it is the day before my students' state writing test. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So today is Monday, March 5th, and it is the day before my students' state writing test. So I wanted to do a quick vlog just for today to show you what are the final preparations that we will be doing in order to make sure that the students fully comprehend what the expectations are for tomorrow. So as you may have already seen, yesterday I posted our week-long classroom vlog from last week, and my apologies if it's long, I just needed to incorporate everything that we did every day. So it was a five day vlog. So if you did the math and you kind of broke it down, it turns out to be like, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. No, not 15 minutes, like 10 minutes or so per video, more or less. But nevertheless, if you got to see it, then you got to see all the different things that we did last week for writing camp, which was a lot of fun and very exciting. So today, we're not gonna do full-fledged, full essay revisions. We are gonna do some revision activities, but it's just to fine tune and tweak last minute things. The students will be working in groups today, so that's gonna be hopefully exciting for them. So I can't wait to show you what I have planned for my students, but first, I have to go to Weight Watchers for my weekly weigh-in, which I'm gonna be honest, I'm not looking forward to because my emotional stress has been super high and those are my triggers to eat not so healthy foods. So I'm pretty sure I gained a ton of weight. So yeah, time to face reality and just keep moving forward from here. So I'll catch up with you sometime later. So as said, as said, let's start with how amazing so it talks about this, so I just stand there and say, that's the first one, you have to do in order. Amazing, according to source one, two. I think first of all, it's like two. No, I did not like that one. It just doesn't look like this. This person only no. did like that much, and then this person did, did a lot of that, and then that the other person did only a little bit. All right, so now it's my lunch time, and I just have to say this morning, the students worked in groups writing one of the body paragraphs for the Ella Fitzgerald essay, so they had to write a really good paragraph that incorporated all of the elements that I have been teaching them all this time, and then they shared their paragraphs with the class. We did some stars and wishes, and basically, really quickly, stars and wishes is the stars are things that the students like about the writing, the wishes are things that they wish they would improve upon in their writing. And I tell them, you can't have a wish without a star. So they always start with stars and then they follow up with wishes. So they did that, they were able to really see some good writing, they were able to instantly revise and notice things that the paragraphs needed that were lacking, and the students were able to receive some feedback. Then I had them vote on which paragraph was the best written paragraph. And at first I was doing the clapping, like I had them clap to see which one had the loudest claps, but that wasn't really working. So what I ended up doing was I did a gallery walk. So I took their paragraphs and I taped them around the room and I had the students, as you saw in the previous clip, I kind of showed a little bit, walk around the room. Each group had the same color marker. And as they walked around, they had to put a check on the paragraph that they really liked. And they could vote on multiple paragraphs that they wanted to, but I told them, since every member of your team has the exact same color marker, I shouldn't see more than three checks in that color per paragraph. So no more voting than once. Um, so we did that, but I think I'm gonna tweak it in the afternoon. I'm gonna have them do the gallery walk first before we have them share their paragraphs, and I'm gonna have them write their names on the back so that people don't know who wrote what, and they can just do it like anonymously. They're reading the paragraphs, they're checking off which one they liked, 
And then after the voting, I'll have the different teams share the paragraph and we can talk about what was a good start and what were the wishes so that they know what they need to focus on when they take the test tomorrow. My morning group only was able to do it with Ella Fitzgerald, so I'm pretty sure the afternoon group is only gonna have enough time for that. And then we quickly went over two part prompts and a couple of other reminders. And I'm tweaking a PowerPoint presentation that'll just play through automatically tomorrow morning as they come in so that they remember some really good pointers and reminders for their writing test. So. Yep, that's pretty much the day. And now I get to do it all over again with my afternoon group. So I'll check with you after school. All right, so it's the end of the day and the students just finished their rotations with my afternoon group at least. And let me show you some of the paragraphs that they wrote, which still needed some work. And we went over what it was that they were missing. But first, before we went over that, we went over what was good in the paragraphs and what they needed to make sure they keep doing. So let me show you that right now. So these are the paragraphs that the students wrote in their groups on Ella Fitzgerald. And on the back, I had the post-its where they voted and the number of the paragraph and the amount of votes it got. And we went over each of these paragraphs after they did the gallery walk and they voted for each paragraph to see which one they liked. We discussed why they liked it and why it would receive the highest vote. So there's that one and here's the other one. It was a really good activity overall and I really liked doing it the second time around in the afternoon. So yeah, it was good that they were able to do that and pay attention to what worked, why did it work, and what they needed to be careful to avoid. A lot of it dealt with elaboration. They needed more elaboration. They needed to explain better what they were talking about, what they meant by it. So hopefully this was good for them to kind of like tweak final preparations for tomorrow. And now I have to get my room ready for testing. So right now, I may have to cover my rules. They usually tell us when in doubt, cover it up. I definitely have to cover up the parts of speech posters, wonder writing, because it may give them ideas on writing, uh, the punctuation marks and the alphabet. The alphabet I'm told to cover every year, so I just cover it up. The type of writing and the standards, I usually just flip them over or just take them down. Obviously, the editor marks need to go. I may have to cover the house crust. Again, they just let us know. When in doubt, just cover it up. And I definitely have to cover the everyday editing part right there. So, yeah. And after I, I'm done covering everything up, I have to make sure I put all the desks in rows so that they are all ready to go for tomorrow's test. So yeah, I have a lot of different things to get ready and prepare and I don't wanna be here all afternoon. So I'm just gonna go grab some bulletin board paper from the mail room or the production room in our school and start covering everything up. So before I sign off, I will show you how the room looks. So it's ready for the test tomorrow. All right, I have my paper and materials ready to go so I can start covering up all these different areas in the classroom. So I'll show you the after clip when I'm done. All right, I finally finished covering up all the visual aids in the classroom. I even took off all the work from the bulletin boards and I cleared off the labels from the bulletin boards. Sorry about that, that was an announcement. But basically, like I was saying, I took off all the labels from the boards as well. All the work from the bulletin boards. I covered up all these different things that I'm pretty sure they will tell me to cover up anyway. All the desks are in rows and yeah, my classroom is ready to go for tomorrow's FSA 
writing test. I mean, I think I did a pretty good job at covering up all of the walls. So, yep. I have to say, this took me about an hour and a half to get it all done, and I even had to make an extra trip downstairs because I ran out of paper. I thought I had gotten enough paper, but I ran out of paper and I needed to get more. I put all of the three door cart bins for each team back here. So they're here, off to the side, waiting for the students to get all their tests done for tomorrow. And that'll be part one of the FSA assessment. Part two and three will be in April. And I thought about taking off all these papers tomorrow after all the testing is done, but it took me an hour and a half to put it all up. For me to have to do it again in April, I'm afraid I'm just gonna have to leave it up until April because it was a lot of work and I am tired. It's already past five and I need to go home and do some self-care. So yeah, that's it for today. That's it for the day before the FSA writing test video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Also, if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing, please, by hitting the subscribe button right on the right. And also, if you haven't hit the notification bell, make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Have a beautiful, magical day, and don't forget to smile. See you next time.